This is my wife's dream knife rack. She's been wanting a knife rack for years and we haven't been able to mount anything here because of this tile. I finally figured out a knife rack that's gonna be strong enough to stay up and a method to mount this thing onto nice smooth tile without drilling any holes. Let me show you how I did it. So here's the knife rack itself. It comes in different sizes. This is a nice good inch and a half uh, or so. Uh, it's then another half inch thick. It's a beautifully strong, heavy duty stainless steel metal bar slash magnet. Uh, I really wanted something that looked nice and was actually very strong. The bar itself is actually about four pounds. So I need to have something that would hold that up, but then also hold all of my knives as well. And I have about another four, five, six pounds worth of knives here. So it's got to be able to hold a good 10 pounds or so against tile. Now, this knife bar could easily do it. And the way this knife bar works is, I'll kind of show you the general install process. So here's how you would actually mount this. Behind this magnet is actually a metal bar. And what you first do is you actually mount that metal bar without the magnet. And the metal bar just goes up with two holes. So you drill, drill screw, screws right into the wall. Uh, if you have drywall or wood studs or whatever you have back there, you can just use that without any of this extra stuff. But I had tile, like physical tile fancy shiny tile that I could not mount screws against. And you can see I even tried. I even have a couple holes here, but I would either miss the studs or I would get uh, just, just flat, flat drywall and the anchors would fall out. So it's actually kind of difficult to, to just put something this heavy duty into tile because you don't know what you're gonna have behind it. The trick is this tape. This is super heavy duty Scotch brand mounting tape. Um, this is double sided tape. And it's red on one side, it's a red filler on one side, and it's black on the other. You kind of peel it off there. It is super sticky. And when you use this stuff is you kind of peel it off, and you cut it, and you put it down, and then you take off the other backing, and then the other side sticky. And they even give you like a little uh, cheapy guitar pick to actually go ahead and kind of open up or peel off that little uh, secondary layer. It is tricky. Um, you can use a little razor blade if you want to kind of get that, that little second layer off, but it's not the impossible. It's just a little bit tricky because the tape is so sticky and the film is so thin. But the key thing about this tape is it's super strong. So I went ahead and put tape strips all along the back of the metal bar back there. And then I measured it and made sure it would fit, made sure it was nice and level, and I just stuck the metal bar to that tile and I pressed it in place for about a minute and then I let it rest for about 24 to 48 hours. I wanna say it was like a day and a half. I let it rest because this tape kind of has to bond. The longer it bonds, the stronger it's gonna be. Once it bonded, I took this metal bar and it's again, it's a super, super strong magnet. You put it up and just bang, it's in. It actually warns you to be careful about getting your fingers stuck because it can crush a finger. It's that strong of a magnet. Now that it's up there, I don't know if I could ever get it off. I might use a screwdriver to actually pry it off the magnet. The only thing keeping this thing up is magnetism. It is magnetized to the metal bar and the metal bar is held on with this super duper mounting tape. Now that it's up here, it holds plenty of our knives just fine. It doesn't shake, it doesn't wobble. It is wonderfully balanced. It looks beautiful. This is the largest one. This is the uh, 24 inch, I believe. And I'll even put my little magnet. There we go. I have everything I need up there. All I did was I got this super nice stainless steel knife uh, magnet mount and this double sided tape. And I was able to do this entire project. Two things I ordered from Amazon. They came, I think the next day. And I was able to get this up the longest part is putting the tape on the bar, sticking it up there, and giving it a day or two to rest. But then, ta-da, we have a beautiful knife rack, just like in the professional kitchens. It looks great. Highly recommended.